Today we're going to talk about five facts that you may not know about the SI joint. Comment below if you know some of these facts already. If you're watching this, you probably deal with lower back pain. So do I. It sucks. It keeps you from doing what you want to do. Majority of the patients we see every day also deal with lower back pain. Today, as I discuss these five facts about the sacroiliac joint, I hope this empowers you on your journey to deal with your pain. Number one, the SI joint is the largest axial joint in the body. Axial refers to the central axis or spine as the word is derived from axis. Number two, the SI joint makes up about 15 to 30 percent of all the cases of lower back pain. For clarification, when I refer to the SI joint, I'm referring to all the possible etiologies that can affect that region, whether that's the joint itself or structures surrounding the joint. Here's a list of other possible problems that maybe affect that region. Number three, there's a higher risk for females than males to have SI joint problems. Uh, this is due to higher mobility, uh, more stress and load on the joint, and more ligament strain than males. Uh, changes during pregnancy likely also contribute to this as well. Number four, there are no muscles that control the joint, unlike a knee that is a hinge joint, it's controlled by muscles. Uh, so there's no direct involvement of the joint with muscles, but there are some indirect effects uh, from some of the surrounding muscles, the spine muscles, pelvis muscles, and the uh, lower extremity muscles. I had a recent case related to this. It was a young fellow with a lower back pain problem that was relatively new, and he had recently been increasing his activity levels as he was training for a half marathon. So his running was ramping up pretty quickly. The amount he was running and, and the frequency of his running. So he started developing this right lower back pain, which began to limit the amount of running he could do. He came in to see us and uh, took a look at his back. His pain was localized to the SI joint region as we were evaluating him. The imaging looked pretty good. No major problems on x-ray. One thing we did notice was that his hamstrings were very tight. So the thought was that the increased tightness of the hamstring uh, put this direct pull onto the pelvis bone, which had an indirect effect on the sacrum. Uh, forcing it into extension, uh, potentially irritating that joint or putting some extra stress on that joint. We had him do some strict stretches, stretching the hamstrings in a way that is not so painful on the lower back. And he noticed some pretty quick improvements right away. His running improved, his pain, pain levels improved significantly. So he noticed improvements very quickly with these very small changes. If only all patients were as simple as that. All right, lastly, number five, the ligaments that stabilize the sacroiliac joint are the iliolumbar ligament, the posterior sacroiliac ligament, the intraosseous ligament that connects the sacrum to the ilium, the sacred tuberous, and the sacred spine. Ligament. So those five ligaments stabilize that SI joint. The reason why these uh, ligaments are so important is any injury to these ligaments can affect the stability of the joint, which can cause pain. Injury to the ligaments themselves can cause pain. Uh, and as we damage these ligaments or injure the ligaments, they can also have other biomechanical problems with this sacroiliac joint and even the lumbar spine. Until next time.